Welcome to Slide Up Lift. Today we're going to learn how to use 3D models in PowerPoint with Morph Transition to create this awesome slideshow. To save time, you can even download this template using the link in the description. Or if you'd like to do it yourself, keep watching. All right, let's start by opening up a new slide on PowerPoint you'll see a text placeholder in the center. We don't need that right now, so let's delete it. Next, we're going to customize the background. Right-click anywhere on the slide and select Format Background, or a window will pop up on the right side. In this window, click on Gradient Fill. This will allow us to create a beautiful gradient effect. We're going to use a combination of blue and purple. You can either choose a preset gradient or create your own by adjusting the colors and positions of the gradient stops. Now, let's add the content to our slide. We're simply copy-pasting it on here. To make the text stand out against the background, let's change its color to white. Next, we'll add the slide title. Insert a text box and paste the title inside it. Let's make this title big and bold. Select the text, go to the font group, and increase the font size. You can also change the font style to something that matches your theme better. To make the title look a bit more dynamic, let's adjust the font spacing. Select the text, go to the font group, and click on the small arrow next to font spacing. Choose loose to give the text a more relaxed and spacious look. Now let's add a shape to our slide. Go to the Shapes section on the Home tab and select the rounded rectangle. Draw the rectangle on the slide, making sure it's a good size for our content. Let's format the rectangle. In the Format Shape pane, set the fill color to white. We don't want an outline for this rectangle, so set the line color to no line. To make the rectangle a bit more subtle, let's add some transparency. Now let's add the subtitle and bullet points to the rectangle. Copy and paste the text into the rectangle. You can adjust the font size, color, and bolding of the text to create a clean and professional look. To organize our content, let's duplicate the rectangle. Select the rectangle, hold down the shift and control keys, and drag the rectangle to the right. Now we have two rectangles to fill with content. In the second rectangle, paste the remaining content you want on this slide. Make sure to format the bullet points to create a consistent look. Now let's add some visual interest to our slide with a 3D model. Go to the Insert tab, click on 3D Models, and select Stock 3D Models. A window will open, and you can choose from a variety of 3D models. Let's say we want to add a 3D model of a desktop setup. The model will appear on your slide. You can resize and rotate it to fit your desired composition. To add some more visual elements, let's insert some graphics. Go to the Insert tab, click on Pictures, and select this device. Choose the graphics you want to add and click Open. To make the graphics blend seamlessly with the background, let's convert them to shapes. Select all the graphics, go to the Graphic Format tab, and choose Convert to Shape. Now, you can adjust the shape format to fit your needs. To create a more dynamic composition, let's hide some of the graphics temporarily. Select the graphics you want to hide, right-click, and choose Send to Back. On the Home tab, go to the Select menu and open the Selection pane. Here, click on the eye symbol next to the objects you want to hide. To make our slide more visually appealing, let's add a subtle background element. Copy and paste your title to create a duplicate. Make the duplicate title larger and place it to the side of your main slide.
Right click on the duplicate title and select Format Shape. In the Format Shape pane, go to Text Options. Adjust the transparency slider to make the title partially see-through. Right click on the title and select Send to Back to position it behind other elements on the slide. If any graphics are extending beyond the slide edges, you can crop them. Right click on the graphic. Select Crop. Drag the crop handles to remove the unwanted portions of the graphic. Click on the slide thumbnail in the slide navigator on the left side of your screen. Then press Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate the slide. When pasting your content, select paste text only with the match destination formatting option. This will paste the title with the same font size and color as the original title. You can also use Ctrl Shift V to do this. Paste the rest of your content onto the second slide in the same manner. Delete any remaining content that is not part of your slide design. Adjust the different elements of your slide as per the content to be shown on it. add in a 3D model for this slide as well. Create as many slides as you'd like, including a 3D model in each slide. There's also an alternate method of cropping shapes. First, insert a shape. We're going with a rectangle. Now, place it in such a manner that it covers the part of the shape you wish to crop. Remove the outline. Select the original shape, followed by the rectangle. Go to Merge Shapes and select Subtract. This will get rid of the excess.
Now for the main ingredient, let's add in a transition to make our slides fit together perfectly. We'll use the morph transition to create smooth transitions between slides. Select all of your slides, go to the Transitions tab, and choose the morph transition. This transition will automatically animate the movement of objects between slides. To complete this effect, select the 3D model on the first slide, copy it, and paste it onto the second slide. Then manually adjust the position and rotation of the copied model to create a smooth transition. Remember to review your presentation in slideshow mode to ensure that the animations are working as expected. Adjust the timing and pacing of the animations to create a visually engaging presentation. And that's it. Your 3D model slideshow is ready to go. Check out the link in the description to download the template now. You can also get 10% off with the code in the description. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Slide Uplift. Hit that bell icon to get notified for our next video. You can check out our channel for more PowerPoint tutorials.